Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number eight of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2016 with FC United. A few big things here. First up, Lewis King, a 22-year-old young goalkeeper. He's got a big injury here and it's going to affect him a lot. Damage, cruciate ligaments out for 10 to 12 months, basically out of action for a year. Uh, very disappointing. Uh, but if you look at the next message, it says he considers quitting. FC United goalkeeper Lewis King is on the brink of retirement following a medical problem. The goalkeeper suffered a reoccurrence of a damaged cruciate ligaments and is becoming increasingly concerned that he may never be completely injury free again. So he must be an injury prone player as well. It doesn't quite say that. But, yeah, you can see why at this level, not a professional level, maybe has to give up on the footballing dream. It's unfortunate. See, I'm already feeling bad for him. Generally, I don't feel bad in most saves. Just, But at this lower level, yeah, I don't know. I feel I'm already getting connection with the lads. He hasn't even played a game for me yet. It just I care about all the players in the team already. It's, it's crazy you get that feeling. Also, Tom Brown, he got an offer from Brackley. I'm actually, yeah, pretty lucky <laughs> that he didn't move. But I was just pretty confident that he wouldn't accept a contract. Uh, from them, like they just approached him, and that happened before with another player, just wasn't enough appearance bonus, but you see Brown, he says he wants to commit his future to the club, should I offer him a contract, um, I think I could have been a bit careless there, honestly, with not offering him a contract, could have left, he's a bright talent for us, um, he's been almost, like the last couple games, he's came in, and he's helped us, well, the last game against Staleybridge, we didn't get a result out of it, but we played well, you know, and the result against um, AFC filed, he had a excellent game, and he's got a lot of interceptions, so he's playing that ball-winning midfielder role perfectly, even though his technicals aren't the highest, tackling 10 is not too bad, uh, but I think we should offer him a contract, even though he's on a non-contract, but he wants actual wages now, uh, first team, uh, but the wage we offer, we can't offer so much, so that is a problem right now, we can't give him a lot of money, I'll put team of the year bonus, because I think it's highly unlikely he'll get the team of the year, but not too much, we'll just give him 1k if he does, because you don't know yeah, yeah how he's going to play out rest of the season, unused sub, give him about 80, appearance fee, 80 as well, uh, 80 pounds, any other added bonuses, maybe a goal bonus every time he scores, maybe 100 pounds, because He's playing that ball in a midfielder, regardless if he knows how to score or not, which he doesn't have amazing attributes like finishing, whatever. Uh, he won't be in positions to score more specifically. So lower that wage, maybe even to 350 per week, because that's a lot. And until the end of the season, and we'll see if he can accept that. See, yeah, he really wants a high amount. So he must be, yeah, a really good player, like for this level, um, considering he's. See, he doesn't even have an agent as well. So I'm thinking, is he expecting too much? Like, you got to think the added bonuses. International Cup, uh, we'll put that highest possible. He'll never play for England. Just, yeah, you don't see that at this level. He won't even go close. Uh, wage after reaching international appearance, especially five, most definitely. Um, we'll put 400. <laughs> Can't you just put, like, a really high amount so he can accept it? We'll do it even after one game. We we'll, might seem more realistic to him. And seasonal Larmac goal bonus, again, even five goals, because then he'll be more willing to accept uh, 3.7k, and if he does, he'll be like a goal-scoring, ball-winning midfielder, <laughs> which sounds a bit weird to say. Uh, we'll suggest those terms. Ah, oh, see, even after all that, we can't offer. We can offer up to 500. See, because this is the lowest we can offer. I don't want to put more than first team. Key player, yeah, then he's going to be expecting to start all the time. Goal bonus, maybe we'll up it to 150 pounds, and we'll see if that will... Wait. We have to lower this a bit more. Okay, 450. Suggest terms. Okay, acceptable. So a bit of negotiating going on there. Exit talks, but I'm happy. And of course, that's only to the end of the season as well. So that's another thing. There's a couple of positives at this level why it's ideal to just offer one-year contracts uh, because, yeah, you might... Uh, better players might come available or if you notice the finances aren't going too well, you can let go of guys that want too much. So it's really good for this level. Uh, but I'm happy to get him on that. Going from a non-contract to a part-time contract, uh, getting a wage, he'll be a bit more happier, I feel. I'm not sure if that's a thing in the game or not. Maybe just my opinion. But 
a player would be more happier if they're on a salary, like they're actually getting paid every week opposed to with appearance fee. I'm not sure, yeah, 100% if that's a thing. Also, with Daniels, I don't want to because we just got an injury. I'll just say he's an important first-team player. Maybe if we didn't get that injury uh, to Malaruni Skinner. But, yeah, right now. Um, and also, yeah, it seems like every week we're getting a friendly proposal. So we do have the coach, one of our coaches, yeah, um, getting that done. So that's good for the players that need match fitness. And some younger guys in the team, like Thurston, uh, to play some regular football when we're not starting him. But with Lewis King, we don't have another goalkeeper, so we must get that grayed out goalkeeper. But yeah, that's a long, that's a really, really long injury. 10 to 12 months is like, we might as well just put him in the under 21s now, because yeah, move to under 21 squad. That's a really disappointing injury. I told you, I already felt bad about him. I'm already gaining that connection uh, with the team, even for a player that hasn't even played for me. So we do have the available wage budget, so we can afford uh, to offer Brown a contract as well. That's something I wanted to say. Uh, but we do have an important game coming up in two days. The FA Cup first game for us. would love to win that against Alfreton. But before I go into it, I want to see the expectations by the board. Uh, what's the expectations? Um, FA Carlsberg. Tro no, that's an FA Trophy. No, the Emirates FA Cup. That's the one we want to go on here. Okay, that's clicking on it. Sorry. Uh, the details. Minimum expectation is to reach the fourth qualifying round. And that's... This is the second qualifying round? Yeah, second qualifying round. So we're kind of expected to at least win two games here. Of course, against easier teams. Well, it's a team at this level. Because there was a kind of a high chance we could have got drawn against a grayed out team. That would have been lower than our level. But we face Alfreyton. But they're not that good. I'm, they're not really uh, a superstar team. They're 19. They've been losing some games. Um, if you check their recent form, um, can you check? I'm not really sure. History? No, not history. Sorry. If you go to players, I'm not sure you can. Yeah, their schedule. There you go. Schedule. They haven't won a game in five. The last four games have been able to win and only two goals in the last four games and they are at home. They're playing at home against us, but yeah, you can see their struggle at the minutes. And do they have any injuries? Yeah, they do. Uh, from a couple defenders and some midfield injuries as well and morale is very low. You compare it to our morale, it's high. Apart from the goalkeeper who's injured, which is understandable. He's considering retiring, so you can understand that. He'll be pretty down. So guys, today we're going through the game now against Alfreton, and also to be mindful of the next game, well not really, it's a good break, a week break against Worcester, I believe that's how you say that name, I was unaware of that, uh, being from Australia, I haven't heard of that name, so I have to research that, apparently I said it wrong last time and had no idea, apparently it's Worcester, which I never yeah, would have guessed just looking at their name, but anyway, uh, we'll move on, uh, we'll worry about them later. And you can see uh, Mulroney's skin is going to be missing and we have to put that grayed out goalkeeper that just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, you'll just see it now for the first time. Christian Dowdy, they're never too amazing. You can see just the average yeah, attributes with them. But yeah, just to be on the bench in case David Carnell gets injured. But should we sign up a backup goalkeeper now? We'll have to see. Maybe try and get one on a non-contract. Leave your thoughts on that. But we'll go in now. Wolfenden, he's going to go to deep lying forward. He's probably the most suitable um, and quality at the same time. Greg Daniels is yeah, a pretty good player there, but Tom Greaves is a good striker, got good attributes, as I showed you in the previous uh, game. So we'll go in, submit the team, and Tom Greaves is lacking match sharpness. So that's where he has to get it here today. <laughs> what a time in the FA Cup. But we are favourites. Alfreton, not really on great form right now so we'll go into the opposition instructions we'll check out their attacking players uh, you see jake beasley he seems yeah he's good pace this guy yeah actually looks pretty decent his contract expires in 22 days is that real if his contract is he like on yeah he's on loan so his contract runs out at the end of the season as well he's on loan from chesterfield don't forget i'll get a scout report on him and he'll go to the shortlist yeah, we scout him. Yeah, he's good. Like, he's quick for this level anyway. And finishing 12, he's really similar to one of our players. <laughs> uh, the beastly striker. That is Wolfenden. But anyway, yeah, so we've got to do all of that on him. Always close down. Because that's been working, hasn't it? In the last couple days. Or game, sorry. The last couple games. I've been able to play well. So, 
Hmm, interesting. This guy's playing on the wing, a uh, wing, I should say. He's not really a winger, Jordan Robertson. Like, he's slow, crossing and dribbling's not the best. So, I'll leave him, actually. And then Lewis Ferguson. He's a bit more pacey, but... Yeah, I might as well. I'll keep it. I'll keep with him. I'll do it with him, for sure. So, there we go. But we'll leave Jordan Robinson as he's not going to make... He's not, like, really quick, so he's not going to be dangerous. <laughs> I'll say that. We'll see what he does. I will continue to the team talk, and we shall say passionately i'm expecting you to win today boys we got to get that expectancy now because we've been playing well oh confused it's not that confusing i said you wanted to win or well, i want you to win it can't be that confusing there we go we'll get some happy reactions in defense hopefully that won't be a problem though there we go and strikers assertively i think there's a lot more to come from you so yeah with tom greaves starting i'd like to see how he goes most definitely, especially at Wolfenden. Only one assist for the season because he was playing as the advanced forward, focusing on scoring the goals. But he can play attacking midfield as well. Not just he can play, he's natural as attacking midfielder along with striker. So you'd think he'd be okay in a more creative role if he's natural as an attacking midfielder. But Greaves, yeah, he's got great attributes for a striker at this level. Really balanced, as I showed you previously. Uh, Tom Brown, I reckon, well, offered him a new contract. I reckon he'll be up for a good game today so here we go it's right with the throw in i do want to win this to be knocked out in the first round will be really disappointing and especially we'll be we're on good form right now so you'd expect us to press on and another away victory would be nice but i can't get too ahead of myself as robinson is on the ball now he plays it in and now it's bradley got to be careful beasley brownhill did really well to defend that brownhill's been all right defensively Oh, no, it's Beasley. He's on and good save car now. He's the guy we have to watch out for, Beasley. I did all that tight marking stuff, but if he's too good, <laughs> yeah, he's too good if he scores. Uh, but they had a chance there. Not absolutely amazing. Not the greatest of starts. Uh, they've got the majority of possession early. Uh, we haven't had a shot. They've had a few. Come on, keep the pressure here. I'm not sure how to say that guy number eight. I'm not even sure if I should attempt. Greaves. Now it's right. Burn in midfield. Good ball for Greaves. Or oh, couldn't quite win it. Go in, Linfield. Oh, not quite. Robinson out wide. Beasley now. What is he going to do? Is that... Like, we had closing down on him and my players are, like, going back. It's, like, the opposite to what I said, isn't it? Cooper. Poor pass by them. Brownhill. It's just like a bit of a yo-yo right now. Beasley with the shot. But that's what we're forcing him into there. Forced the shot from range. And it was a pretty poor effort. Uh, possession uh, come back to be a bit even now so hopefully yeah we can create a chance maybe uh, we'll have to see so still waiting for something here there's like there's not much action going on right now just yeah waiting for something to happen but, but looks like we'll go in half time uh, just nil nil not terrible though it's not terrible but i want to be winning this game so we go aggressively i'm not happy with the performance fire up the lads jerome wright is the only one who hasn't got a reaction i'll just say calmly a lot more to come from you. Um, still no reaction, so we'll leave it as is. But only one shot on target for us today. We'll see what happens here. Might have to make a change after this. I think we'll have to. Or oh, especially if they score. Beasley's through. That was coming. Oh. Jake Beasley, his first of the season. We're going to have to look for something in the second half now. It's, it's a question of, I don't know whether to keep the same style. We'll see just the replay here, 3D, even though I don't really care about their goal. But the defending, like Lynch, she just runs away from the ball. Like A change needs to be made. We need to bring on someone a bit more lively. Greg Daniels. I think Greg Daniels for Greaves. Uh, he's had a poor game. You can see his morale through that. Bring Wolfenden in his preferred role. Hopefully we can create something for him. And also Caminino. We can't waste time here. We'll bring him on for Jerome Wright. We've got to go with that. And and even fullbacks will change a little bit here. Put more support so they can actually create uh, for this game. Uh, get forward a little bit more. And we'll see um, Yeah, if it comes to something. Still, yeah, still a lot of time in the game. So I'm not sure if I want to go completely attacking right now because... This is our formation counter away from home. It got the job done. But I would hate to... Yeah, like FA Cup is so important. This level, like for us, we need to be doing well. 
we need to be going through a few rounds, like the expectations as well. But because of the money, money could be really important. I always want to go far because money, like I said, it, it is important. It is important. So hopefully, yes, a chance now, maybe Daniels, Wolfenden, penalty, yes. That's exactly what we needed. And who's going to step up? Oh, Stott. Yep, he's a strong pen taker. Oh, give my confidence in him. Stott, the captain, finishes. is really, really strong. And if you forgot, you check out his penalty. It's 17, penalty taking. Reliable as captain. Ever reliable. And there we go. We'll get back into the game now. Come on. I told you I didn't want to lose this. So we're fighting back now. But how about that finish? Just very composed from the spot. Even the keeper guessed the right way. You know it's a good pen when the keeper guesses the right way. And still, yeah, he doesn't save it. Uh, really well done. See, I was thinking about, yeah, going to the other formation now. Like, ideally, I don't want... Oh, they've got a corner now. So maybe I'll have to if they score. Don't... Oh, get rid of this. Please. Oh, just <laughs> a scrappy goal. He scored on his birthday. I don't care if he scored on his birthday. This is We're not here to celebrate birthdays. Just, oh, scrappy goal. Just can't clear it. Just coming around. I don't even know. Didn't look like stopping it. I hate conceding those goals. But you do concede those at this level. Of course, you can concede those at top of levels as well. But I feel you do here as well. Like, more regularly. Come on, get it back. Burn. Smash one. Oh, no, that's going to be the highlight. I was disappointed there because I know we're not going to score. That was the yeah, that was the highlight of this highlight, if that makes sense. We're not going to score from it. Uh, no good, man. Can we change? Do we have the players in place here? We do, but oh, look how much it changes. I have to rotate so much. What the hell? Tom Brown will leave there. Burn is the one we'll probably have to take off. Caminino will stay. And, yeah, attacking midfielder will bring on, yeah, Sean Cook. We'll have to bring him in that role. And we'll go... I'll leave the general settings for now. Maybe run at defense. We'll do run at defense. And we'll leave that for now. I don't know if it'd be a good thing or bad thing. Like you say, FA Cup, you get knocked out. Um, yeah, you could have made some decent money if you go, few, go through for a few rounds, go to the next go to the next stage, but also it could allow us to focus on the league a bit more until FA Trophy comes around. Oh, we might as well go all out now. Try that a little bit, but not quite working. We'll go overload, shoot on side is there, pump ball into the box. We'll go narrow. I'm kind of doing that a bit more now. Narrow because, yeah, pump the ball into the box straight down the middle. Uh, run from positions a bit more. Just go route one. That's all of it, really. That's all of those, main and high defensive line, and take more risks. I feel, yeah, those are all the options when you want to go most attacking. So, last 15 minutes or so. We'll make a change as well, or team talk, anyway. What We'll go passionately, get creative, give your players more creative, concentrate, demand more, demand your players to work harder. Yep, that's what we need. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully they show something. I want at least a chance. Come on, we're going all out here. We're going for it. I'm just thinking, would we just push the wingers up? We might as well do that. I know it looks completely bad here, but, like, <laughs> we have to go for the, even the fullbacks. Like, it's either go for it or lose. It's go for it or lose, so we might as well. Attack, fullbacks, and even the ball... A winning midfielder, Brown, put him centre mid. We just, we have to get the players forward. It's all or nothing at this point, last 10 minutes. If we don't completely go for it. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? I think I maybe wasted a few minutes of chances. We could have had potentially, but you don't really know for sure. Wolfenden, Daniels should be in that position instead of Wolfenden. But hopefully it won't be a problem. But even with Daniels, we'll go on attack. But come on, please. There should be a highlight in the last 10 minutes because last 10 minutes in games, there's generally highlights. There's generally goal chances in real life. So come on, give us one. Just don't be, just don't end it. Just don't end it. Come on. Uh, it's like, mm, come on, man. 
Assertively, encourage. Oh, I click calm down. Undo last. Thank you. Assertively, encourage to increase the morale. Come on, just at least show what's happening. Like the last chance. Come on, don't be disappointing. Don't let down who's everyone watching my video. Yes, they listen to me. <laughs> I've, I got what I wish for. Even if it's a goal for them, we're going to see what happens. They're going to play it through. Come on, win this back. Encounter. Please. Okay, it could be for us here. Not if we don't win the header. No, nah, it's not going to be for us. They won that ball. <laughs> See, I just know. Oh. Don't stop it there. There has to be. There has to be something. We've got the ball back. Come on. Like, you are so badly. Come on, Wolfenden. Go. Oh, why did you waste it like that? <sighs> what was that? That was just a wasted chance. Did you honestly think you were going to score with that strike? You're not a millionaire. Don't play like one. And now Ferguson, uh, Carnell. I'm not sure if anything's going to happen. Very doubtful. Especially when we're just wasting chances. Wolfenden, this time maybe. He can't win headers. So how are we supposed to yeah, get the ball forward, but we've got no one there to win those? Come on, maybe late. Caminino. Wolfenden, please don't waste it again. Oh, he does it! I forgive you! I forgive you, Matty! He got it back. Dramatic equalizer. So we're going to have to change the formation back. We... Oh, thank you. I forgive you. I forgive you. How could I ever doubt you, Matty Wolfenden? And that's class. I just mean, yeah, why couldn't you do that before <laughs> instead of wasting the chance? Oh. We'll go advance tactics. So now, can we just... How do you... Is there an option to revert to your previous tactic before you've changed it up we can go back to the 442 we can go back to that one but like how that one was edited you can go back to the previous set formation you can load it maybe yeah i don't know but don't worry about it now we'll go back to this formation uh cook the only problem there he's yeah he's not in the ideal position uh for that but maybe um i just want to can we go create new tactic Set to formation. Or load. There's just the 4-4-2s there. There's not that 4-1-2-1-2 that I used. Because I'm thinking we could be more dangerous. Nah, when we're not winning. I mean, when it's a draw, we have to go this one. I just yeah, messing around in my mind uh, what will be the best option there. Because you've got to be careful. Like This late in the game... You don't know what's going to happen. So we'll make those changes. So it's going to finish a draw here. It should anyway. There shouldn't be a late chance. It's two minutes of added time. Unless it's for us, I'll take it. Cook. Linfield. But I'm just waiting for it to be, yeah, blown by the referee. That should be it. Okay, we're still going though. I'd be mad yeah, if they were taking... Okay, yeah, that's full time. And that means we should be yeah, taking them on. What are we going to say here? Post-match, passionately. I'm happy with what I saw there. Some positives. There we go. Good reactions. Ha! Oh, Wolfenden saved us. So we'll finish that. Uh, so we'll get a rematch at home. Oh, Wolfenden saved us late. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. Uh, especially after you wasted that chance just before. <sighs> <laughs> he's been good this season. We needed that late chance for him. And he did. He had a lot to do, didn't he? But thank you. Yeah, we have a great chance at winning at home now. So, guys, we have a third round qualifying draw today in the FA Cup. Uh, we'll see who we would potentially face next if we do end up winning yeah, the next game. So, we're going to be playing Clitheroe. Is that? Clitheroe. Where are they? Are they a non-league team? You can see they're in that Evo Stick Northern League Division One North, and you'll see their players. So they're not—they have one real player, and the rest are grayed out. And that's Simon Garner. Doesn't look terrible. Well, he's actually got some decent attributes, but the rest are grayed out players. So you can just see one of their strikers. Yeah, very low rated. So we should be able to beat them. That's why. Oh, I most definitely want to win the next one now because we could yeah probably advance to the fourth round like our expectations from the board suggest.
So there we go. Tom Brown has accepted the contract. He'll be very, very happy. So we'll go back to home as well, see how it affects the wage budget. Yeah, the wage budget is still, yeah, 350 per week. So we've still got money left there. Uh, so no problems. I just scouted Vassal here. He's a guy just um, on loan from Stoke at Chippenham. Uh, might be a center back for the future. Don't really know. Got good potential uh, for this level anyway. So yeah, we'll go in. <laughs> We're favorites once again for the game. We'll be much more confident at home. Uh, to yeah, advance to the next rounds. So guys, you know the story now. Don't need to explain it too much. We're at home now for this FA Cup second qualifying round against Alfreton. I'm confident we can beat them. We'll stand a more chance at home. Cameron Murray will be starting this game. Still talented kid, this guy. Uh, some good attributes. I feel he can create a lot today. He still needs some more match sharpness. So we we'll play him. Matty Wolfenden, again, we're going to try him in that position because you can see uh, Greaves, he's even worse there. Of course, yeah, Wolfenden amazing in that position, but uh, again, it's just maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can't. Maybe I want to give Greaves a chance, but didn't impress me in the last game. Give Greg Daniels, who's, again, for his abilities, more suitable to that role. We're trying to, yeah, play him some more games. That flair might do something. Just, yeah, Mulroney Skinner. I just wish, yeah, he could play because, you know, he and Wolfenden have that great chemistry. Uh, that they've built early in the season. But, yeah, we'll submit the team. Oh, I've only selected six subs, have I? We can add one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. We... It's just, yeah, Christian Dowdy is the grayed out one. If only six from possible seven. I do have seven. Just Christian Dowdy is the grayed out player, so don't worry about that. <laughs> They're just getting that a bit wrong, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, I've got all there. I can't click on another one. So, yeah, don't worry about that. We'll just go into the game now. And hopefully, yeah, oh, but it's we're so lucky almost to be in this situation because Wolfenden scored that late goal. Whew, dangerous. Uh, Beasley, we did well. Like, he wasn't so dangerous. So, we'll do all the marking and everything like that once again for him. Uh, who's this guy that I have no idea how to say his name? Oh, 20 free kick taking. Whoa, who is this guy? I want to know who he is now. Uh, I, I've, I can't, I'm going to just call him Andy. I can't, I've, I've no idea how to pronounce that. Maybe it's like Thanoi. Thanoi, I'm guessing, but wow. I thought our player with good free kick, that it's 20. I'm scared now if they get a free kick. And he's got potential to be a good league two central midfielder. No, nah, I have to get him. How do I sign this player? I'm going to declare interest. Whoa, he's so good and good potential as well. I'm like, whoa, he's superstar. Okay. Oh, ooh, we got to be careful. Got to tight mark him. Shine to weaker foot. Close down. He looks good. How about Joe Ironside? Uh, nothing special. But yeah, that guy. Wow. We got. I'm scared of him now. <laughs> if they get a free kick. 20 out of 20, but yeah, Wolfenden, 14 goals in 12 now. We'll go passionately in his best uh, best striking role now. Let's give uh, yeah give the fans a performance they're expecting of us here. Like at home, FA Cup, come on, lads. Assertively, we go for, yeah, second option. There we go. A couple players looking happy in defense. Again, assertively, second option. Uh, one looking happy there. That's Craig Linfield. And with the strikers as well. And there's Greg Daniels. You know, he's exciting player he's got high flair so he could do something special hopefully create for Wolfenden Wolfenden is our great hope but they have an early chance it's Ironside uh, but that shot never looked likely and I still want to know if this way of playing will be all right like counter at home okay corner opportunity from Brownhill Murray Wolfenden oh he's had a lot of opportunities Hasn't quite got the breakthrough today. Lynch, maybe. No. Again, a couple chances from corners. Lynch has had a couple, hasn't he? Uh, a couple headers. Hasn't been able to find the back of the net. And that's the same. This is probably the first time I haven't rotated center backs at a lower league level. I've just kept with the two, Ashworth and Lynch. And the longer we go on, the better, yeah, we're being defensive, uh, defensively. Uh, so that is good. Uh, good to see from us. We do have that. Even though, like, I feel we could sign better players. But now, this time, surely, Daniels. Ah, another wasted chance. 11 shots in total. Uh, we've had four on target. Uh, but we're heading into halftime now. 
Ideally, I want to be winning. Uh, we we probably we've had enough chances at least. I don't know if you say we should be winning or not. We're dominating possession as well, so we'll go aggressively. I'm not happy with. Well, that's not completely correct, but it gets good reactions. Caminino calmly say, "I'm looking for you to make a difference." He's looking happy. That's all right. So, uh, we'll push in to the second half now. Uh, we'll be definitely looking for a goal. We'll see what happens here, but I think we need to make a change and we'll have to take Daniels off. His condition, yeah, going down too much. Maybe a last chance to do something. Linfield. Murray. Daniels. Okay, play it through. Oh, I thought he could play it through to the six. Now it's Murray. Daniels. Brown. Murray. This is good play. Daniels. Wolfenden scores. Is he onside? He's offside. See, I had a feeling there. I thought it was. I thought it was. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at that, like feeling like it would be offside. Like in my mind, sure, I'm disappointed. I was just hoping it wouldn't be. Check on the replay here. How close was it? He was offside. So we have a problem here. Our strikers aren't having the best game. And i got to leave Wolfenden on because he's our clinical finisher. But we'll, actually, I'm going to bring on Sam Maidley. I want to give this lad a chance. That's probably his best role as a striker. And I want to see that 15 long shots. I reckon I should teach him to take long shots because 15, that's like if he, oh, uh, for this kind of a level of football, most definitely, he'll be a danger. Ah, uh, but we'll just confirm. We've got to make that change and maybe, yeah, just another guy to partner, Wolfenden, maybe he'll be better. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll create him in better uh, opportunities, in better positions. We'll have to see. But no doubt, well, yeah, he's had chances. Just hasn't taken them. Now Murray, Wolfenden, played across, Maidley. So, yeah, you can't try a long shot from there. Uh, that will be wasting it. Murray. Murray, Maidley. Maidley, Linfield, Wolfenden. Another chance that he doesn't take. It was blocked this time. So now I'm just scared they're going to have one opportunity. We're still waiting for that one on target for them. Maybe one more change? Uh, we'll see who's available to come on. Who could be a difference maker? I desperately don't want to take on Wolf. I don't want to take off Wolfenden. Like he's the hope. Uh, Tom Brown. I don't want to get a yellow, another yellow. So we'll bring on David Birch. Same role there, and we'll stick with that. And David Birch hasn't played for a few games because Brown has been back and he wasn't doing that amazing. So oh no, Carnell's got an injury condition. Is it going to go? If it goes back up, he'll be okay. Okay, it's going back up. I'll scare there for a second that it wouldn't like if we get him as an injury that won't be good <laughs> that won't be good at all because our other goalkeeper got injured we'll just have that great out player who's not very good at all maybe we do have to take Caminino now and we'll bring on Jerome Wright that will be the last sub then I think we're going to have to go with that yeah and I won't change to the 4-4-2 diamond because we won't have attacking midfielder so we'll just stick with this we'll, ha we'll get chances here yeah, Caminino We'll take him off. Hasn't had the best of games as well, so no reason to just keep him on. Maybe right, just, yeah, a wing. A uh, uh, pacey winger coming on. He can get forward. Yeah, get a cross in. Maybe that's what we'll need uh, to get the breakthrough because, of course, every game is not going to be played out the same way. You've got to keep faith with Wolfenden. He may come good. Linfield, can he get it into him, though? Well, that's a wasted chance again. Apparently, he almost got lucky, but I see it as a poor cross. Really? Oh, maybe Lynch! Right! Oh, the substitute! I am a master. How about that? What a super sub. Brought on the right player, and he was able to find the back of the net. So look on the replay, Brown. He'll always put in... That was a really dangerous cross, wasn't it? There was always a good chance uh, that, yeah, we could come up with a goal. Low and hard, just dangerous uh, to put the opportunity for a goal like that. So looking good, 1-0. And sure, okay, we'll see what happens here. Two goals would make it look a bit better. Birch finds Murray. Murray, play it through. No, back to Birch. Birch back to Murray. They're just having fun at the minute. We keep possession at the back. Cool and composed. And just wa it wasted the ball there. Oh, I wouldn't want to concede. Be careful. Oh, error. Or oh, more of a mistake. Just like it'd be unlucky as well. The player wasn't aware of it. Madely, finish it now. Ooh. But yeah, they stuffed that up, didn't they? Come on. Oh, no, Brownhill. I'm, so, oh, 
I uh, like I could just tell, like giving them a set piece, and he's just given a warning. But yeah, don't care about that. I care about wasting. Yeah, that opportunity. They could have easily scored, and they still have a chance to. How did I know? How I thought that was going to be the winning goal that we scored, but it was not to be. Maybe Carnell, yeah, he should have saved that, but lower condition. But we had to bring on that right who scored. So it, you say you could have took off the goalkeeper, but <laughs> maybe that gra- that crap goalkeeper who we have in backup, uh, the great outkeeper, he would have conceded that anyway. So you got to keep that in mind. So it looks like we're we could be going into injury t- or extra time. Team talk, assertive. Ah, oh, push forward maybe to look for a goal. I'm not sure if we want to be playing extra time. Yeah, this is going to be it, man. This should have been... <laughs> we should have won that. Oh, that late goal. Aggressive. I'm not happy with the performance. Madely, I'll just say... He's looking nervous. I'll just say... You have ability to make the difference. There, happy. I just have to put some faith in him which he's lacking right now, after our substitutes. Oh, and they've got a corner now. Oh, no, that's going to make it even harder. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, we're just going to have to change our kind of setup a little bit. Set pieces are just... What can I say about them? They're annoying. And it looks like we're going to go down if we can't. Oh, look at all the conditions. We'll go attacking. we just got to completely change it up now. We'll push the wingers up. Because again, <laughs> is it going to be the same story again? It could be. I'll do what I did when we scored. So we'll have actually more time now. Deep line forward to be on attack. Actually, it's a different setup, isn't it? Oh, we'll keep this way, but Murray will go... I'm just thinking what to do here. Murray... We'll go on attack. And we'll leave Birch defend there. Oh, uh, well, no, support. Yeah, was support. And the fullbacks on attack. <laughs> it's just the same story again. Same kind of changes. But can we do it? That is a question. We'll go overload. Take more risks. Slightly higher we have to play now. Shoot on sight. Pump ball into the box. Um, what else? Narrow was it? And go route one, roam from positions, be more expressive, run at the fence, all those options now. I think those are all I uh, made in the previous game. Uh, yeah, we'll just go in. Uh, we'll go in with that change. The only difference is, yeah, playing that center mid instead of attacking mid because we don't, yeah, we didn't have that attacking midfielder playing today because of the changes we we did make. Maybe could be a late chance in the half. Linfield, Maidley, Birch, Murray. Murray to right. Right. Oh, I thought that goal he scored to make it 1-0, like, in normal time, I thought that one was, yeah, the opportunity for us. And especially the team we're playing next. Like, we'll, you'll probably beat them. Maidley, maybe. Decent shot. Decent shot. We're taking the game to them right now. Brownhill. He whips it in. Linfield, so oh, man, and we can't even do a team talk <laughs> like half time. We're just gonna have to do one from here. Then we're gonna go assertively. Ah, oh, show some passion. We just need Ken Wolfenden. He's having a poor game again. Almost sinking three strikers if we don't score from this. I'm not sure if we have someone else. Linfield could, but I'm not sure the positioning of other players. Now, come on, this could still be a chance. Brownhill, Murray. Maidley, oh, they intercept, but we get it back, Lynch, oh, they get it back again, it's like a yo-yo once again, Birch, Maidley, Maidley, Wolf, and then that's going to be offside, I think, I think that's offside, no, it's not offside, oh, yeah, see, suspicions of offside, so I wasn't wrong that it was at least close, but we got the goal back, yes, so Birch, Maidley, oh, that was mighty close, but Wolfenden, you always got to keep the faith in him. No, now, let's keep going. We look dangerous. Let's go for another. But we're going to have the opportunity now. Yeah, it's going to be for us. Murray is having a killer game. I want to see his stats after this game is done. Brownhill, Murray. Look at those passes he's playing. Right. Right, Wolfenden. 
Oh, Linfield, if we don't win this game... Oh, we're having these chances late, and Robinson, or Rob Butson, gives away the foul. And, yeah, the referee gives him a lecture. There's still going to be another opportunity on Brownhill. He's good at these free kicks. Danger. Danger. Oh, they'll just pump this forward. Yep, yeah, we're going to... I just predicted that. I knew it. Right. Right. Wins the corner. We're piling on the pressure. Like, look, 15 shots on target. Five clear-cut chances. We have to win this. Wolfenden. Who else would it be? But that's still the problem. No one else can score. I know that right guy scored, didn't he? But last time, but oh, <laughs> he scores so many. Wolfenden. Near post. We've got it 3-2. Yes. But hey, look, yeah, we deserve that. Look at the shots on target. We took the game to a... Or well, to them, we took the game, and we deserve this. Now it's Brownhill with the header. There could be one last chance for us. Wolfenden. Wolfenden. Maidley. Surely over now. It's plus one. There we go. Wow. What about that? <laughs> the two games against them was, yeah, a good win. I just got to credit them to keep going for the whole game. Liam Brownhill. Excellent. Cameron Murray, oh Cameron Murray, sorry, I'm just too excited right now. Cameron Murray covered the most distance, 16. Well, no, sorry, no, Linfield, Linfield did. Linfield, sorry, I was just really focused on yeah Murray because he had a great game. But credit to Linfield as well, wasn't really reflected in his rating. I'm not sure if the run, yeah, how long you run in the game really reflects that. But Cameron Murray passes completed 110. What a workhorse he was in midfield today. 110, he must be so tired, deserve rest, but Wolfenden again steps up with two goals. Okay, did I click on the date? Sorry about that. I'll click on continue. But yeah, <laughs> how about that? Wow, what a result uh, for us eventually. We took our time. Uh, Maidley made his debut as well, so we advanced. See, we're given 4.5k, and that adds to the balance. And the longer we yeah push on, the more we will receive. So Wolfenden, this is ridiculous, the form he's on. Look at this. Just look at all the goals. And the amount of games he scored more than just one goal in. Whew. Real good. And he's missed so many chances as well. And he doesn't look outstanding. He just looks like an average striker for this, like a good striker for this level. He can play attacking midfield, right wing as well. I'd sign him if you have the opportunity. Most definitely, after the first season, get him on a free transfer, approach him on the contract. Okay, how about this guy? He's unsettled now, is he? What's... Oh, he's got good potential and that free kick in corners. Wow, 23. Yeah. I'd want to sign him. Leave your thoughts on this guy and how to say his last name because I have no idea. I think it could be Thanoi, but not 100%. But there we go. What a game. What a couple of games. Oh, drop a like on this video. Like, it felt like a really good episode to record. I'll have to see later when editing it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I got really into it. I'll, I'll say I loved it, but there was so much pressure, like, going on to win that game. But, well, yeah, it was really, really enjoyable. Like, in terms of, yeah, having the fun recording it, wow. I got my enjoyment out of Football Manager <laughs> out of those two games, especially the last one. Drop a like if you'd like to see another episode very soon. Um, second round... Well, the second game we play against Clitheroe, you know, they have a lot of great out players, so we should advance against them and, yeah, get some more money. But, yeah, it's not nothing is ridden for sure. I want to see what we'll get if we win this one. 7.5k, see how much it reaches, yeah, every time. So that will be very nice, especially as our overall balance is pretty pretty all right so far because usually at this level, I am I go in the red or something. But it seems FC United of Manchester... They look, they look at the profit this season. So, yeah, what do you think about that? Is it, does, Do you know anything in real life with their finances? Are they in a good position? Leave your thoughts because, yeah, we don't look like even getting close to being in the red, which is a big thing for me uh, to be good financially. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.